Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCare and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do another kind of um, traveling, straight pour, not sure exactly how this is going to go. I am just exploring things. I have a, what is this, a 10 by 20 canvas. I don't have the back prepped. I don't have the back prepped. It's just a little Michaels canvas I'm going to be practicing on, but I do have the little push pins. I have leveled this out. And I've got my colors. These, this is my scrap. Strange scraps, very pretty. It's like a, it's like a silvery, glittery black gray. This here is uh, a, a light turquoise. It's a lot of peacock pearl from Deco Art in here. This is a lot. Uh, well, this is all um, actually. It's all goldens. Thalo turquoise. This guy. Give me a little while. And then I have a combination of satin enamel with uh, titanium white in here. So this has got beige satin enamel and the white satin enamel combination. And it's a little off white. 24 karat gold and iridescent gold combination. So 24 karat by Go De Deco Art and iridescent gold by Golden. Um, this is mostly quinacridone Nicolazzo gold, although there is some remnant of Zeus in here. And then this is Bordeaux red. So the concept here, and I have black base I'm going to use as the divider and the I'm going to travel on a color this time and see what I have. And I'm gonna, the concept here is like, kind of like a deconstructed bloom, but I'm going to do one little cup at a time. So I'll be fast forwarding a lot through this. And the idea here is um, I just want to do it a little bit on an angle. And I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to start right here with a small cup. And I'm just going to kind of go through here and see what I come up with. From there, the idea is to come down here, and then the idea would be go over here. We will see where it goes. I'm going to layer three cups. That's the plan. And two of the cups will be very small layers, and this will be the bigger layer. Um, so, yeah, let's just get started. I'm really curious to see how this is going to go. Okay, so here is that black combination. My scraps. Let's put a little more down than that. Is this going to be falling off the edge up there? Probably. And my light of the turquoises. My darker of the turquoises. My cloud mixture. gold quinacridone and just like in the uh, coasters the gold and the quinacridone go so nicely together and then the red back to black all right, so I'm going to be triple timing through this since you've already seen me layer the first time. I'm doing it the same way this time. And for the rest of this video, you're going to get a lot of fast forwarding and skipping as I go through. Okay, so let's get my black. And I'm going to put down my pathway. Just so you know, especially if you're new here, I always will fast forward if there's sections that are just pretty mundane stuff. I'll be back in a second with the pour really really pretty combination here oh, I wanted the black to be last didn't I I wanted it to be first and last all right here we go bottoms up
so much for going up the, up the middle. Just adding a little flow paint here. Let's just give it a stretch. Mm -hmm. So I'm adding some flow paint here because the composition has reached its end and it's rolling over on itself. Probably made a mistake by going in that direction. to lose this part if I can. I got to get a better pour going on. Oh darn it, I didn't I didn't torch it. All right, I gotta do a better job. It's all practice. So let's go back to the drawing board here. I don't know if I like, I don't know if I like the black. I don't know if I like the black at all. Let's get rid of it. I might have to include it back over here if I'm gonna do another one over here. All right, so I'm going on fast speed here. I'm layering the cup the same way as I did the first time without the black. And going forward, parts like this, I'm going to be double timing or triple timing, and I'll play music. We'll see you back on the other side. So I am keeping this again at real time, so you can see the pace at which I'm traveling across with.
Forget that step. All right, here we go. So I'll be tilting at fast speed from here going forward, but you'll see everything and slow actually is the key. saving this are the colors. Because after that, it's wanting. But I'm going to drive on because oftentimes I pass judgment too quickly on myself. All right, let's, oh, the signs are good. Let's turn this thing around. And I'm not sure what to do. <sighs> I like the black, the black in between is striking. Let's layer a small cup again. Well, I gotta keep it similar to what I've got up here. That's really cool in there. All right, I'm gonna, let's start with a little of this. Since that was in the original, I like to keep it a little symmet symmetrical. So I'm going to go at four times the speed here. You'll see what I do, and I'm layering the cup the same way as before, with the black this time. here I'm a little shy on the black so I'm going to spread it out a little bit to help it along and now into the pour at real time I might have to use this to get me to get through this. We shall see. Okay, let's take a look. Let's get some of that off to start with. So I'm showing you here at real time as this paint is spreading because I'm going to soon realize I need more flow paint. So I end up using my strain scraps as my flow paint, which will work fine 
just to get the composition to spread out across the canvas. I'll be picking up the pace soon. I'm gonna roll over. Okay, well. So yeah, here I'm just adding my uh, scraps, my strain scraps as flow paint. And that's fine because it's not gonna stay on the canvas. It's just gonna be used to help the composition stretch and spread to the edges. Just get to the corner, baby. Torch again. And now I'm gonna pick up the pace again. So if you're wondering why I'm torching, I'm just doing it to get the air bubbles out. Get my sides covered. I'm at 36 minutes. Oh, I got an edge here. It's all covered. So, I think that is about it. That's not bad, it's cool. The gold is breaking up and normally I would hate it, but it looks really kind of neat. I'm not sure why the gold is breaking up. Oh, it must be the satin, oh, that's right. It's because it's next to the satin enamel. I don't hate it. It's kind of cool. It's it's really it's developing as I sit here and look at it. So I'm gonna call that a wrap, and I will get you uh, down for a close-up shot. So everyone, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video and some of my fumblings and stumblings through, including the forgetting to torch and running out of my black flow paint. But you know what? It's always a good reminder to show people some of the things because. You know, I'm not perfect and I have a lot to learn myself. So if you're in this far and haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell and all. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. I do a variety of techniques, including a lot of functional art. And I'll be trying to do some pearl cloud pours coming up soon too and other things. At the very end, I'll link a playlist for other pours similar to this. So in the meantime, take care and we'll see you again next time.